What's up, good people? This is Anthony Deloach, and I'm back with another crypto investing review and tutorial. And today, guys, I'm going to give you what you asked for. I had a lot of people hitting me up after my last video, and they said, I love the review that you did on Tron Case, but I need a getting started tutorial so I can join this platform. And guys, that's what I'm here with today now before i jump right into the content i do want you to go ahead and like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that i drop a new crypto investing review or tutorial all right guys let's jump right into it now i do have to say something right up front i prefer using the clever app with tron case that's just the app that I like the most. I know a lot of people use Tron Link Pro. And you no, know, if that's your preference, definitely you can use that. But this tutorial is going to be geared directly towards Clever because that's the one that I use. But the directions are very similar. So I'm quite sure you'll be able to figure out Tron Link Pro with this as well. So when you want to go in and download Clever, you can actually go to clever.io. And when you go to clever.io, it's going to give you the options right here for you to download it for the App Store and the Google Play Store. OK, so you'll be able to download both of those. Right. So I want you guys to look at it and see which one is best for your device. Now, I actually have this downloaded on my iPhone, my iPad and my MacBook because I like to make sure that I have access on all of the devices that I have now. You could just put it on the one that you prefer, but make sure that you save your uh, private keys and your seed. You want to write it down on a piece of paper and also put it somewhere that you can store it securely on your device so that you can copy and paste those things back into the app. If you ever get something ever happens to your phone, you lose your phone, you lose your laptop or whatever it's on. You want to make sure you're able to restore your wallet. You don't want to be missing out on your profits because you can't get into your wallet. OK, so let's go ahead and talk about how you do this. Now, once you download the Clever app, it's going to be very, very simple. It's going to look very easy. It's very, very user friendly here. So I'm going to pull up mine right now. Actually, I'm in Tron Case. So let me back out of that so you can see exactly how this looks outside of Tron Case. When you get into the wallet, it's going to look something like this. Now, I want to give you full disclosure. I recorded the initial video to show do this tutorial a few minutes ago, but I found out that my microphone was off. So I had absolutely no volume on the video. So this is the second time that I'm recording this video. All right. But it doesn't matter. I'm in here now. We're going to show you a good tutorial what this looks like. Now, what you want to do is when you are on the wallet page, you see this little icon at the bottom. It looks like a wallet. When you're on that page, if you don't see this red TRX right at the top, then you want to go in and search coin and you're going to type in TRX, right? And then it's going to pull up only the Tron wallet. You know, we're going to be using Tron to participate with the Tron case platform. Now, what you want to do is to make sure Tron is at the top. Now, what I like to do is go over here to this little button and I sort it by amount because I only use Clever for Tron case on the whole Tron. And so it's always going to be the one at the top if I sort it by amount because it'll be the only wallet that has an amount in it. So let's go back out of that so you can see this. So now that I have Tron in my wallet, now if you don't have Tron in your wallet, you, you're going to just be getting started with the platform. So you're going to need to receive some Tron. Now you can, if you have Tron you know, somewhere stored, you can send it over to the Clever, your Clever wallet by just clicking on Tron here. And then you are going to come into your wallet here. And what you can do is go ahead and click on this receive button. It's going to give you basically your code here and your receive address. You can copy it to your clipboard right here. And then so if you copy this to the clipboard, you can paste this into your other wallet where you have Tron. And that way you can send it over to this wallet or if somebody's sending you Tron, you can send it over here. Or if you use Simple Swap, which I'm going to show you in just a second, you can send Tron over here to Clever as well. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Right. So now I want to tell you that you can also buy Tron directly through the Clever app as well. If you scroll all the way over to the end of this, you'll see that there's a little icon with a basket um, and that's going to be where you buy Tron. So you would click on this to buy. You would choose the amount of Tron that you want to buy in this scenario. Let's say if I wanted to buy 1000 Tron, let's select the 1000. So <clears throat> oh, it doesn't want to do it. Let me go back. 
All right, we're going to do 1,000 Tron. So that'll be right at $76 if I wanted to buy 1,000 Tron. So let's go ahead and hit next here. So I'm going to hit next. Once I hit next, it's going to ask me which account that I want it to go to. And I'm going to let it go to my main Tron account that's here. Now, if you wanted to choose a different account, you just click in there. It'll let you choose a different account that you have within Clever. And you could do that. Um, if you had somewhere else you were sending it, you can actually scan a code here um, or you could choose somebody else from your address book. But we're not going to get into that today. But now you will go ahead and proceed to checkout. When you go to proceed to checkout, it's going to tell you that it's going to go to Simplex. Right. And you can purchase with Apple Pay as well. All you're going to have to do is hit I agree here. When you hit I agree here, it's going to take you out of the Clever app and into another tab because um, I'm using Google Chrome right now. And it's going to tell me the amount of that I'm, amount of USD is going to cost and how much Tron that I'm going to get. And it's going to give you the options, the option to pay with your credit or debit card. Now, if this is your first time doing this, it is going to take you through a KYC process or identification or verification process of your ID. So what you're going to have to do is, is take a picture of your ID, your driver's license, or like your passport. You have to take pictures of that and upload it to the platform. And then you're going to also have to take a selfie of yourself um, so that you can upload it to the platform and then they'll process that. Once that's all processed, then they'll let you go through with the purchase and that amount of Tron that you're purchasing will be sent directly to your Clever Tron wallet and it'll be there for you to access. So that's one way for you to buy Tron through the Clever app. Now, let's say if you don't want to use the Clever app to buy Tron, let's say if you have Bitcoin stored somewhere, but you don't have Tron and the wallet that you're using doesn't have Tron. So let's say like Coinbase, if Coinbase doesn't support Tron, let me exit out of this. If Coinbase doesn't support Tron, then I had some Bitcoin that I wanted to buy Tron with. Then what I could do is say, hey, look, I want to do this, this exchange on SimpleSwap. Now, you can just go to SimpleSwap.io. When you go to simpleswap.io, you don't have to create an account. You don't have to log in if you don't want to. Now, I do suggest you create an account and log in because that's going to allow you to see your history of transactions. But if you don't want to, you definitely don't have to do that. What you could do is go in and change these options here. So the first option is Bitcoin. It's already set on that. So let's say if I decide how much Bitcoin that I want to send over for for Tron. So what I'm going to need to do is change this one from Ethereum. We're going to type in TRX for Tron and it's going to go to Tron over there. And right now it's set to one Bitcoin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab and I'm going to select, I'm going to Google Bitcoin, right? So I Google Bitcoin and then I'm going to Google the amount of US dollars that I want to spend um, here. So let's say if it was $500. So that's, that, if I do $500, it's going to show 0 0.015 as the amount. So I would go in, say, Hey, look, I want to do 0 0.015 of Bitcoin. So we're going to copy that. I'm going to go back to simple swap. I'm going to, instead of one, I'm going to put in 0 0.015 of Bitcoin. That means that you're going to get 7,658 Tron, right? A little over that. 7,658 Tron. Now, what you would do is go back to your Clever wallet, okay? Once you go back to your Clever wallet, um, let me click done there. Um, once you go back to your Clever wallet, you're going to click on Tron here. You're going to go into your Tron wallet and you're going to get your receive address. Once you get your receive address here, you're going to copy that the actual address on this little clipboard icon here. You're going to copy your address. Let's go back. And then you're going to, let me minimize this so we can see this. You're going to paste it into your Tron address here. This, this is where you want to have it sent. I want to have it sent to my Clever wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and select exchange, right? So if I select exchange, it's going to exchange that. It's going to bring up this screen right here, right? So once it brings up this screen here, what you're going to do is to go ahead and send the amount of Bitcoin that you wanted to exchange for a Tron, and it's going to be sent right to your Clever wallet. What you will do is you can either copy this address and paste it into your wallet where you have the Bitcoin so you can send it over here, or you can scan it with your phone. There's this QR code right here to send the amount of Bitcoin. Now, I will tell you the longest process with this is for you 
to actually get the Bitcoin confirmed because it has to go through several confirmations. So give yourself a between 20 to 30 minutes for it to confirm the Bitcoin, but it'll walk you through the process right here. It'll go through step by step. So it goes from waiting, then it'll it'll highlight this and go to confirming, then it'll go to exchanging, then sending, and then finished. Once it's finished, it's actually going to send this Tron straight over to your wallet in Clever and your Tron will be there. So let me go ahead and exit out of this screen. That's how you're going to be able to do that with Simple Swap. Now, I'm going to exit out of these two screens. I'm going to bring back up my Clever wallet here. So let me get this pulled up. There's my Clever wallet. Let me put in my code so you guys can see this. All right. So now let's say if I bought some Tron, I have it in my Tron account now. So now I'm ready to take the link that the person who invited me has shared with me. And I'm going to go to this little browser icon at the bottom here. So once I go to this browser icon, I'm going to paste that link that they gave me right into this URL here. Now, being the fact that I already have this in here on the clipboard, I'm going to click here for this. And then I'm going, it says high risk alert. We have detected that you are accessing a high risk decentralized app. We understand that we're going to say, I understand. And I want to continue. So you click that button. It's going to take you into the Tron case website. Now your first time getting started, what you're going to have to do is to go ahead and make a contribution. So you would click on that little menu button right there that I just clicked on. Did you guys see that this little three stripes here or hamburger menu, you're going to go ahead and click on that menu. And then you're going to click on the blue button that says contribution. So you're going to make a contribution to the platform. So when you make this contribution, let me tell you, um, I forgot to mention this when you were purchasing. Make sure you purchase a little more than what you actually want to contribute to the platform, because there will be fees and things that are associated with contributing the funds to the smart contract. So you want to make sure that you have more. I always say 100 more Tron is usually the, a good way to go. Some people say 40 to 50. I say 100 Tron. It's like $7, but make sure that you have at least 100 Tron more than what you want to contribute to the platform. Now, you would have to go in. You would type in the amount that you want to contribute. It's going to be defaulted to 1,000 Tron, but I'm going to show you in this example because I already um, made a contribution but I'm just going to show this for this um, for the demonstration purposes only. Right. But I'm going to show you how to actually do this. So I'm going to let's say if it was 100 Tron that you wanted to contribute, what you would do is go ahead and type in 100 here and then you would type in contribution. And um, so you would, I'm sorry, I said type in, you would click contribution, the blue button here. So once you click this, it's going to bring up a confirmation screen. What you would do is go ahead and click confirm that you do want to contribute another hundred Tron. So you would do that. You're going to put in your code and then it should say success. Check your personal, personal wallet and you click OK. Now I'm going to exit out of the contribution screen and now I'm going to click on the personal wallet and voila, it's added. Um, 100 Tron to the Tron case contract that I have here. Now you see, I have a total of 21,600 Tron in this Tron case here um, and this wallet here. So um, I want to tell you guys that that's how much I'm working with right now in this one. And, uh, and you see, it's already earning for me. I'm at 2% because like I said, I recorded this video a few minutes ago in which I actually went in and um, did this contribution a few minutes ago, right? So it started over a few minutes ago, but I did want to go ahead and do this video to demonstrate how you do that. Now, I had some people asking me, well, Anthony, how do you do a withdrawal? Since it's this night, and I'm going to do it once again for demonstration purposes, I'm going to withdraw this little bit of Tron that I have here. It's only five Tron, I know, but I've earned five Tron in the last like five minutes since I did this video, last five or 10 minutes or whatever. So um, this, uh, this, this, I earned five Tron so far. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw this now. When you're ready to make a withdrawal, a withdrawal, you just go ahead and do withdraw, right? And then it's going to bring up a confirma confirmation screen. Again, what you're going to do is go ahead and select confirm. Once you confirm that you want to withdraw, it is going to then withdraw all the Tron that you have in your available balance. You're going to see this go to zero. And then it's going to reset for you. 
and then it's going to start earning again, right? So it went to zero. You see now it's resetting and it's earning again. I'm back at 2% where well, I was already at 2%. So that's where it'll be. Anytime that you withdraw, it does reset you back to the base with right now is 2%. So now I'm back to earning 2% and you see that it's earning again. Now that amount went out of my wallet. It went out of my Tron case and into my wallet. So that extra hundred Tron, uh, well, five Tron, I'm sorry, that extra five Tron actually went into my wallet. You won't really be able to tell a difference with that. But if I wanted to compound and I say, look, I withdrew that amount. Now I want to go, a go ahead and put that amount back in. What I would do is go back to the browser. And then all you have to do is type in troncase.io. But since I have this in here, I'm going to click on what's on the clipboard. And I want to say, I understand. And I want to continue again. And then you would go right back to the menu here. And you would select the blue button for contribution. And you would make another contribution. This is how you actually compound. When you withdraw your profits, you're going to put them back in and make another contribution. Now, don't worry that it says here, no part, no upline partner. It actually is going to come back for you. Even if it says no upline partner it will recognize who you're connected to so that don't even worry about that but you would make the contribution of what you wanted to do here that's how you compound guys and so you just come up with your compound strategy whether you want to compound once a week every seven days every eight days or whatever or you can decide that you want to compound every two weeks or every month everybody has a different strategy that they want to use whatever strategy is best for you is what you want to do but um, definitely, guys, this can help you out a lot. Remember that I'm going to put some directions to get started. As a matter of fact, I have a new link. I'm going to drop my link in the description where you can go to. You just click on the button. When you click on this link, you click on the button for enroll in Tron case. When you click on the button for enroll in Tron case, it's going to give you these instructions, right? And um, you'll it's going to have my link in there already. So my link will be right there in the instructions so that you can get started with this platform. So guys, I hope this has been very, very helpful for you. I was trying to make sure you got all the information that you needed to get started. I don't want to leave anybody hanging here. I want to have another video for you guys tomorrow that's going to drop. I believe it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think you guys are going to really like it. So make sure you're on that notification bell. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's going to absolutely help you on your crypto journey. Now, I have a motto and most of you all probably already know that. We know our motto is that we will invest wisely. We will invest well, but we will only invest what we are willing to lose. But here's the kicker. We know that we are investing for the opportunity to win. All right, guys. So this has been enjoyable for me. Hopefully it's been very helpful for you. Until the next video, I hope you guys have an absolutely phenomenal day. And I am out.